Welcome back. We're now going to go to the file command and we're now going to take a look at this new link. And what you're going to notice is that you have several pre-planned ways for you to start working with Excel. You can start with the plain blank workbook. In most cases, this is where you're going to start working with your document. You can also have what are called templates and you'll see those here. For example, you'll see an expense trends budget, You'll see a back to school planner and these are starter templates that will help you to start creating a document from something that's pre-planned. Now we will take a look at this in depth in another video. We can also go to open an existing document and so by clicking this document we can find any open Excel documents on our hard drive. Of course we know that saving our documents we would use these two links as well as saving the entire document as a PDF file. Now obviously you're going to print from this menu but printing is going to be a little more involved because in some cases you're only going to be printing certain parts of your document. Now again we're going to look at that in a separate video in depth. In the last video we talked about sharing the document or having it viewed online. We can click this link to share the document with someone else. When we click save to cloud this document is going to be saved to a specific OneDrive location. Now you do need to have OneDrive with Microsoft Office and this will be saved to your account. We can email the document as an attachment to an email. We can also present the document online. This basically allows us to use Microsoft Excel inside of a program like Skype Meeting as part of Office 365 and to collaborate with people in real time on the actual document that we're working on. Again, we'll be using the document in OneDrive, however, we'll be using some of Microsoft Office online meeting facilities in order to do that. Now, we can export the content in our Microsoft Office document to other locations. So, for example, we can export this document into a PDF and we can actually change the file type. Now, in Microsoft Excel, this is going to work the same as saving the document as another kind of document and changing the name. However, it also exists inside of the export command. You can publish your document to Power BI, and Power BI is a paid solution for business intelligence. You can close the document that you're working on, and this will take you back to the beginning. Now, one thing that will determine how you'll interact with Microsoft Excel will be this options link. Now, when you're new with working with Microsoft Excel, you'll probably want to leave the default settings as they are. However, you will want to be familiar with each and every one of these areas because if you hit a point at which you need to do something different, Microsoft Excel is adaptable. So you have areas where you can adapt how you interact with formulas, with data, how you check over your work, how you save your document or how it auto saves, the language, and more advanced options that you'll just want to be familiar with mildly. You can customize your ribbons as well as your toolbar. And at a glance, you can look at what programs are working with or inside of your Microsoft Excel. And this can be important because if your Microsoft Excel is not performing adequately or if it's performing slow, in some cases, it can be an add-in that may be slowing it down. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.